Hi, this is Mike from Music Ministry 101 with 20 tips in 20 days for choir directors. Here's tip number 16. Tip number 16 is all about organization. And the same will go for 17 and 18. Those are also about organization, which is a crucial part of what we do as music ministers. But I want to remind you that I'm offering 10% off of Choir Essentials, which is my video training program. Just check the link in the description below. And at checkout, use the discount code 10% OFF. Okay, no spaces all capital letters, I think you'll really get a lot more out of that training program for choir directors than even these 20 tips. There's only so much you can say in 20 tips. Okay, tip number 16 is to batch your work together into chunks. Now I've seen a lot of music directors do this the wrong way, which is to plan music for one weekend and then copy that music for one weekend and then tell everyone what songs we're doing for that one weekend, then to make the binder set up for that one weekend, and then to go to Mass and then to do that one weekend. Now the problem with this is that every time you switch from one task to the next, you're eating up probably 10 or 15 minutes of time. You're spending a lot of time to refocus your brain to get to get everything to get everything going on whatever that next task is. So the way to save tons and tons of time is to batch these activities um, together among themselves. So basically what you're going to do is instead of planning one weekend, you should really consider sitting down for two or three hours in planning many weekends in a row. In two or three hours, you could probably plan one to two months of music selections, okay? Now the next tip is going to help you with how to organize all of that stuff, but for the time being, the idea is that you're sitting down doing one thing. You're getting your brain into the planning mindset, okay? You're getting all of your uh, readings together, all of your planning guides together, all of that stuff and you're planning it all in one chunk. So you're spending two or three hours to get all of that done. Step two is to batch together your copying. So then, maybe the next day or later that week, you're gonna make all the copies that you need for those one or two months coming up. Now, copies are boring to make, right? But that's why you want to batch them together into one chunk of time probably an hour you could copy everything you could possibly need for two months of music at your church. Next step or next day would be to batch together all that you need to do to distribute the music to your members. So maybe you have a guitar player and you need to scan X, Y, or Z for them. Well, you're actually gonna to put together a little packet with all the music they need for the next two months. You're gonna scan it and send it to them. Okay, so by batching all of your work into these separate chunks, you'll find that you're thinking of the future much more, and it's much easier for you to actually have plans for down the road. And by not switching between all these different tasks, you're saving tons and tons of time, tons of energy, and the frustration that it, that it takes from going from one thing to the next to the next you feel like you're always running and you're always moving. But by batching them together into bigger chunks, it becomes so much easier. So I try to take a couple hours and plan a month or two out in advance. Then I'll go the next day and I'll make all of the copies that I could possibly need. I'll stack them like this so we're totally ready to go. I'll even hand them to the choir members for the next few weekends in a row. And it just makes things so much more easy. I feel like I save so much time by batching things together. So keep in mind, the main point of this is that when you switch from one task to another task, it takes your brain something like 10 or 15 minutes to get in the mode of that next task. The same thing goes, by the way, for other distractions. So if someone calls you or texts you and you get distracted by that, it takes you another five or 10 minutes maybe to get back on the original task. 
So when you're chunking these together, it's important to knock out all of the distractions you possibly can. So while you're copying, don't check email. While you're planning, don't check email. Okay, that's the basic gist of this, is that you have to chunk together these big chunks so that you can plan further into the future. Your life will be so much easier, I promise. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this tip and I'll see you tomorrow for the next tip. If you are someone that regularly works with amateur singers and you've been enjoying these tips, please click on the link in the description below to check out my Choir Essentials training program. It is an online video training program that will help you to hone your skills as a choir director, whether you need to recruit more members, get them to sound professional, in tune, with a clear and free tone, or if you need help with working with difficult members or keeping your members happy in general, this program is for you. So I encourage you to click the link in the description below and check it out. And if you found this particular tip to be useful, I'd love to know that you're here and that I should keep producing this content for you. So please smash the like button below as well. If you'd like to build your choir or start one, if you'd like to get your choir sounding professional with perfect harmony, rhythm, and vocal blend, if you'd like to motivate your choir to learn new songs and harmonies without any hassle, I'd like to invite you to try my Choir Essentials training program today. Hi, my name is Michael Carney from Music Ministry 101. Over the past 15 years, I've been able to grow and improve several choir programs in churches and in schools, from just a few members to hundreds more. And during that time, I've had the honor of leading choirs of all ages and sizes into successful performances. As I've become more successful with choir directing, a lot of people started to ask me for tips and advice that they could use to create more success for themselves. I've created a training program that contains the most important things I've learned about growing a choir, getting them to sound great, and running a successful choir program. And you can watch them all now in my Choir Essentials training program. You'll learn everything from my step-by-step -step approach to recruiting adult and youth choir members to the best ways to teach harmony without having pushback from your singers, and the quickest and best ways to improve your choir's sound, whether it be an issue of vocal blend, pitch, or rhythm. My ideas and methods have impacted people around the world, and I know I can help you to build the successful choir that you've always wanted to achieve. Just visit me at musicministry101.com and try my Choir Essentials training program today. It is risk-free for 30 days and will guarantee that you will massively improve your choir program. Thanks for checking out my channel.